Oh, Jesus Christ. What's going on? I'm suffocating. I'm tripping balls, man. What the hell is happening? Hello, everybody. And welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. But it's different. It is the Aberration Expansion. Welcome, everybody. I've been so excited to hop into this. Uh, you know you know what we got to do. We got to become Papa Star. Papa Star. Papa. Whatever you want to call me. We're creating the survival. We're spawning into the portal. And we are beginning our Aberration journey. So if you guys don't know, Ark Survival Evolved. Super well-known survival. Well, I dropped some water. A super well-known survival game, right? Everyone knows Ark. Taming dinosaurs. Do another jazz. Well, this expansion, a little bit on the low keyer of sides. This expansion adds in something magical. We spawn in on what is known as a broken Ark, and I swear, if that raptor is about to attack me, I'm literally just starting out. <gasps> Already a new dino! Look at the bulb dog. Oh, the bulb dog! It's like a bulldog and a, a bullfrog. Oh, so adorable. Yo, can you kill that raptor, please, there, Mr. Dodacaris? Uh, but new expansion, new dinos, entirely new place to explore, and uh, something a little ch charged. You're within the effects of a charge radius, protecting you from the nameless. No clue what the hell that is. Uh, the raptor's got a name, so I don't think that's gonna do the trick, but I cannot wait to tame up one of these. <gasps> if we get a little bit of food, we can actually start trying to tame one of them! Ooh. What do you like to eat, my friend? That's the question. I hope ra I think raptors like to eat him, which isn't good, but this is kind of like the starting area. Uh, is that a new dinosaur? I don't know, it's been a while since I've played art. I've taken a little bit of a hiatus, a little bit of a break here, because uh, I wanted to- Oh no, I, I remember this dude. He's, he's a pretty fast one. Iguanodons are chill. I took a little bit of a break though, because I wanted to come back to Ark when this update did when this expansion finally came out. And that's exactly what we're doing. So I'm really excited to continue hopefully playing this game an absolute ton. I hope that you guys are as well. If you are, make sure that you are subscribed as we continue our series. And I don't know why the graphics look so poopy. Like, my graphics are pretty maxed out. Like, uh, you can see, yeah, everything's on Epic, so... I guess this stuff just got load in, so give it a second, all of a sudden your eyes will be lambasted with glory! And beauty. But yeah, make sure you guys are subscribed and hit that like button if you guys do want to see more of this series because I'm 100% down to play more Ark because it's been a while since we played and I've played a lot, a lot, a lot of Ark on the channel. I think honestly there might be like a thousand Ark videos altogether. It's loco, dude. It's absolutely crazy. I don't know. I got a level that I could level up. We're going to do that in a sec. And what the hell is that noise? Woo! Help me! Save me, Iguanodon! Nope, 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 this ain't, this ain't looking good for us. Someone! Stego! Stego, save me, please! There's a raptor on the loose. Attack him instead! Yes! I might be free- nope. Nope. <laughs> the Stego was not happy with whatever the hell I just did, but uh, let's hope that we can go and get our stuff back. And as long as we can try to hopefully fend off the raptors, we should be okay. So this is one of the spawn regions we can start in. It's the portal. I don't know what the hell type of significance the portal has, but something is new about it. And then, like, the whole shindig, the whole thing about this, uh, this map, this expansion, is that it's supposed to be on a broken arc, because arcs are, like, these kind of, I guess, a small spoiler alert. They're kind of, like, just floating, like, islands in space, like, giant domes. It's, it's some pretty crazy stuff. But, uh, yeah, they're just giant, like, floating domes, and this is one that got, like, hit by an asteroid, and everything just kind of broke and hit the fan, and, you know, it, it, it didn't end well. Didn't end well for the inhabitants, because a ton of things got mutated, like the bulb, bulb dog. I'm not even gonna know how to pronounce that thing. I do know that I want to tame one of them, though. What kind of food you like? No, not that. What kind of food you like in Comrade? I got the goodies. I got mejo berries. I got the mejo berries. I know you like them. What's that noise? Yeah, and you can see even these are a little bit different. Like, that's an aberrant parasaur, so they are slightly on a different side. But Bulbadog. Hello, Bulbadog. Oh, no. What the hell do you want to eat? Oh, well, we gotta figure out what the hell these dudes like to munch on. Because as of right now, we ain't got a clue. But anyways, uh, it is time for us to probably do the bait, the go-to arc thing to do. Which is, of course, trying to gather up a couple of basic resources. Kind of kick things off a little bit. Maybe build ourselves up a little bit of a little bit of a hut. To call base camp, and I think this is another uh, another newbie right here. Hey, oh, Jesus Christ! What's going on? I'm suffocating. I'm tripping balls, man. What the hell is happening? What is going on? Hello. What the? 
Did that thing make me trip? Hold on, did this thing do that to me? If I go within its like radius, does it? It's got a char- No, that thing didn't make me trip balls. Is it the mushrooms? Is it the magic mushrooms? If you stand in the magic mushrooms, maybe? No, maybe it's- maybe it's the- the Oh no, oh no, oh no! Okay, oh! It was a good run while it lasted, boys! Stay away from those crystals! Those are not to be trusted! <laughs> so, uh, yeah, apparently those crystals are where acid and LSD come from, so, uh, make sure- st st Stay away from those, uh, we've- We've already died a couple of times, but as is tradition, you know, gotta- Gotta die a couple of times early in game before we- Establish ourselves, but well, we spawned near some rocks, that's okay. It's not like we had anything valuable on us either, but uh, beware. Oh, are these more trippy rocks or what's up? What, what are these things? Do we still got to get our hands on some wood and stuff? Uh, I want I gotta stop hitting tab, man. Every survival game I play is totally different ways of doing everything. Ooh, a reaper skin that looks cool. <gasps> a bulb dog mask. Oh, talk about adorable and a decorative ravager skin. But if we go to the crafting menu here in the end rooms. Uh, are there- is there any way to tell us of- yeah, the Aberration Engrams. So the first, like, these are the specific new things that were added in to Aberration. These were the new recipes, new crafting that's only gonna be available here. The first thing we're gonna get is a level 10, so we already got like four levels. Let's start leveling up. Honestly wanna go up in health the most, cause I feel like health is- health's usually pretty good. And uh, we probably wanna start trying to learn a couple of basics here to help us with our survival. Probably some clothes, especially the pantalons, man. I, I, I like not being butt naked, you know what I'm saying? And uh, probably some basics when it comes- yeah, I think that's good. How many more points we got? Oh, we got eight. Uh, we could start getting some of the base essentials. I'm gonna be able to get all of them, but- ooh! Oh, no, those are scorched earth things. I thought this was scorched earth. Okay, next big thing. What does this do? A gas vein. Well, at least the gas isn't making us hallucinate, so that's good. So there's a gas fan in the game, that's something that we can do. So I've been like relatively like in the dark, like I know some of the like- Oh, We're getting a ton of mushrooms from here. I've been like relatively in the dark regarding this expansion, so we're gonna be discovering it together. Like I still know some like the big things that are going on, but I tried not to figure out too many precise details just so when it did come out, we could have a ton of fun with it. And oh my god, hold on. That thing is going off. This one's not blowing up. I wonder if that'll uh, like shoot us up in the sky or something. Oh no. Oh, we are poisoned though! Oh man. Uh, so- Oh, and we're suffocating. Is this, uh, is this death number three already? It's gonna bring us- I think we'll survive. It's gonna bring us pretty low. But we'll survive. So you really gotta be careful, because a lot of things in this game are really trying to kill you. The rocks, the gas, the mushrooms. So they were not lying when this was like a corrupted arc. Things really- the going really got tough, to say the least. I wonder if these count as the trees. Can I collect? Oh, we can! We get some fungal wood. The fungal wood. It's a little bit new. Are these things gonna make me trip balls and start, you know, dying? I don't think so, so... Fungal wood does count as wood, that's good to know. So, okay, yeah, the mushrooms look to be, like, the new trees of the game. Uh, all we gotta do as well is make sure that we're getting stone. That should- I gotta hit- I gotta stop hitting tab, man. It's bad. It's bad for business. Uh, but back to what I was saying. Also, we can probably continue exploring the map. There's a whole ton of map to go around. I don't know why the map texture isn't loaded in. A lot of weird things, man. A lot of weird things happening, but that's Ark in a nutshell. I heard some, like, primal screams in the distance. Oh, what the hell is this? Hold on, do you guys see this, like, writing on the wall? Am I crazy, or does that look like something? Oh, no, I am crazy. That's just the exact same, like, tile pattern happening over and over. Well, that's okay. All right, like I was saying, though, let's actually try and get some of these basics popping. We do got to be careful when we punch. Punching does bring down our health on the wood. Are we good to go with the wood now? Uh, actually, are we good to go with another level? Let's go up to 150 health. Level 6. Gorgeous. Marvelous. And let's get the rest of the wall blueprints while we're at it so we can build ourselves up at least a little bit of a base by the end of this. And when it comes to... Okay. Which of these are going to make us trip balls and which ones are gonna maybe help us? Okay, the auric mushroom is good. We have to, uh, there we go, we gotta poop. That's like a little, dropping a little bit of poop. Okay, so the auric mushroom doesn't kill us. One of these things definitely have to kill us, man. There's no way. That one gives us, oh, hold on, that one gives us some sort of like special effect. I'm gonna need a ton of them. 
stack it up and try to read what that is. Okay, so that gives us poison immunity. Oh! Okay, so it looks like some of these mushrooms are actually very helpful in what they provide. Does this give us anything? No. Does this one give us anything? Oh, it does! It does! What does that one give us? Hold on. Hold on. What does, uh, oh no, not L. I meant to hit H. Poison immunity. Poison immunity. Fertile? But oh, it's different types of poisons. So there are different types of poisons on Aberration that we gotta look out for. Okay, and is there any other mushrooms I haven't eaten yet? Uh, we got the Acerbic. Looks to be highly narcotic. Will this start making me fall asleep? Uh, okay, so these things actually... Ah, uh, they do that. <laughs> so it looks like there's some new mushrooms for actually keeping people, uh, un not un undercover, I don't know where the undercover came from, but unconscious. And this looks to be, uh, one of those. You can see our topor skyrocketed when we ate up a couple of them. That's a lot higher than, like, narco berries or anything, so... These new mushrooms, man! I think- I think they might be like- cause I know berries are in the game too, so we already got a couple berries, and we're gonna have to wait for this to wear off. Alright, my dude sounds very constipated and he's grunting a lot, but Artopor is about to hit zero, so once this happens, like I said, uh, we'll try and find the last piece so we can start getting some of those basic tools up and running, try to start building up a little bit of a sum, but we are gonna be playing this as a series. I know some other YouTubers are probably just gonna be like, bum-rushing and spawning stuff in to show it off super quick. I'd rather discover that, just like naturally, get the hell- no. No, go away. Go away. I just rather discover that stuff naturally and like in a series so we can share an adventure together. So I hope that's cool with you guys. And uh, that's gonna be the game plan moving forward here. But yeah, it appears that there are like two types of bush, like two types of fruits that you can gather. One type of fruit is the mushroom patches and then the other type of fruit is going to be just like normal berries. And what is that? Hello? Do you guys see that? I see glowing blue. Something up there. I wonder if we can climb up there at some point. Looks like we're getting some more pair sources. Yeah, these are- all these things are different though in some way, shape, or form. I think I see some of these bugs. I wonder- Can we knock out these bugs? You know what we should do? That sounds big. There's some big walking around. Oh, they got a paras- not a parasaur, a parasaur! Always- I always start with para, then it just goes off fill from there. Uh, we still got the fungal woods. We've eaten all of these. Those we gotta be careful with. They spoil pretty quickly, though. And, uh, oh, we're dying of dehydration. Uh, we haven't really done a good job at finding anywhere to drink, have we? We should probably try looking for- Ooh! That's a cool sword skin. We should probably try looking for a place that'll actually give us water. So as of right now, we don't really have that place. Why don't we continue going this way? Because I think that's where we super initially started, right over there. Why are we trying to go up here, especially with the whole dehydration thing happening? Thanks for constantly dehydrating me, game. Appreciate it a ton. Dude, not gonna lie, these things look freaking cool with, like, the aberration skin on them. <gasps> what the hell? Is that a lamb on fire? Hold on, is this lamb literally on fire? Oh, no. It just, like, got a cool skin. I thought it was on fire. Get the hell away from your raptors. No. No, I'm not doing business with you. I am done doing business with you. I'm just gonna keep on moving forward, hopefully to safety. So this is also the easiest area to spawn in. It literally said easiest when we decide to spawn here. These things... I don't, like, what happens if we punch it? Oh, did it drop something? Am I crazy? I don't know, but it's got charge. I don't know what that charge is. We got a lot of figuring out to do, if you guys haven't noticed. And a lot of healing to do as well. But... Back on topic. Let's head back to that craft and Let's get ourselves a pickaxe to at least begin things with. And then probably get some flint. Get ourselves a hatchet and start harvesting a little bit exponentially from there compared to punching wood. It's gonna be quite the upgrade. Trust me, especially as our level keeps on upgrading. I'm excited to level 10 though and see what the hell that first thing, that first thing we're allowed to craft that's new is. Oh, this is it. This is a whole new world. Oh, look at these like butt mushrooms. They just look like a butt. <laughs> that's how you know something cool is going on. Oh, what the hell? Playing TV? Oh, what the hell? What the hell just dropped from the sky? You guys see? <gasps> no, 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 no! Okay. So I guess there was a raptor airdrop going on. That's always nifty. I'm just trying to find a constant source of water here. It's all that I want. Looks like you might be able to like parkour across some of these pads, which would be pretty cool. Or giant mushrooms. Yeah. 
But it's like there's like stuff playing on the TV, which is odd. I've never seen TVs in Ark. What the hell is on there? I can't even begin to see what the hell that is. Uh, maybe eat those Zool berries. Maybe those will give us hydration a little bit more. It's been a while, so I forgot which berry exactly gives you the best hydration. Bang for your buck. Ah. Yeah, the water struggle is real, man. I don't know how we're going to solve this water struggle. I do know how we're going to solve the rest of our struggles, though. And that's going to be by hitting some things really hard with an axe. And following this, seeing where the hell it might take us. You know, this whole dehydration thing is slowly killing us. At the end of the day, right now. I want to explore this map a little bit and see what the hell it has to offer and maybe try and find ourselves a cool little location to settle down start building up a base hopefully close to agua hello bulldog oh maybe maybe he likes mushrooms ah oh, it, it hold on do you like mushrooms my friend do you like mushrooms my friend ah oh, are you serious yeah, if you guys know what the hell tames this guy, if we can't figure it out, I would love if you all could share- Oh! He likes aquatic mushrooms! The boob dog is ours! Let's go! You guys know what to do. It's been a while since we played Ark, so you already know how we do the naming. In the comment section down below, make sure to drop that name for the boob dog. What you guys want, this beautiful- What's going on? What the? What's happening? Exactly? Why is there an earthquake? Oh! What is this crap? Obsidian? Just random stuff dropping from the sky? This is like pretty high level stuff too. Hold. What? This is... This is new. What? What? Tarnation? Green gems. Bulb dog, hold on. You want to try and, uh, can you... Oh, I can pick you up. Ain't that adorable. Oh, hold on. I got to... Why don't you... Bulb dog, buddy, can you hop off my shoulder for a sec? So, I don't know what the hell's happening, but there's like an earthquake going on right now that's kind of... Just giving us free stuff. And hold on, we're actually going to go up to Gamma 3 because things are getting a little bit dark and I kind of want you guys to be able to see. Yeah, we're just getting totally random things. This is like really good stuff too. Just free resources falling from the sky. Yo, Ark Gods, shouts out to you guys. Although I'm very scared that like something big is going to come and attack us. Like something big is causing this massive earthquake. Looks like the earthquake stopped, but we're walking out of here with some good- I hope- I really don't want to die now after we've collected all of this. From that short little earthquake? I don't know what the hell that was. Also, I got to remember how the hell to throw this guy off my shoulder. I thought I just double tap E and he decides to like, you know. Kind of hop off, but he, he's just chilling there right now, so... I don't know, is it like double- Oh, he double tap F, okay. Uh, can I get you to like... Uh, toggle light? Auto activate at full charge? Nah, just uh... Just- Just turn on- Turn on that light, buddy boy. Look at that! And with this little guy to help us out... We are prepared. Oh man, it's so awesome. We already got our first new dino along with massive biceps. Call me Pasha. Papa biceps. <laughs> Yeah, with our first tame already done. Taming speed is a little bit sped up since we are playing uh, on our server here. Taming is a little bit sped up just because taming sometimes for some arc things takes just redonkulously long. And what the hell? Is that a grass on the ground? Hold on, you guys see that? Is that just grass? Oh, I, I couldn't tell if it was just grass. Uh, but yeah, taming is sped up a little bit in case you guys are wondering just to make things a little bit easier for us. Uh, resource gathering is a little bit sped up as well, so there are a couple of things there since we are playing uh, solo for the time being. We ain't got nobody, nobody to help us, and hopefully nobody comes to kill us, and hopefully somebody gives me a method of hydration. Because as of right now, dude, I don't know, man. I'm just not, maybe I'm missing something really obvious, but there is no agua to go around. So we're just going to be right on the brink of death for a while so we can figure this out. And I see something up ahead. You guys see that thing? Oh. Yeah, things get spoo- <gasps> Is that water? It is. Oh my god, a Spinosaurus already? What are those dancing lights? Why is that light dan- Am I crazy? Are they just on our screen? Those lights are throwing me off. Uh, what the hell is that thing? You guys see that? Is it burrowing? Oh no, it's coming for us. Hey, buddy! What are you? Is it coming for us? 
Over here, my dude. I think that's one of the new dinos. Oh, we could try and swan dive into the water. I don't know how much I want to go down there. I'm seeing a lot of aggressive predators. Oh my god. Oh my god, what the hell is that thing? Is that a king crab? Bruh. Hold the phone. Yo, what, mate? Yo, what, mate? Okay, well, I, I don't want to lose the things we got, but at the same time, I do want to try and see a couple of these things up close and personal. I wonder, maybe we could just build a little temporary home with some of the things we've gathered. You know, a little, little makeshift thing. Like, we can remember. Can we build a chest, too? Do we have the ability to build a chest? Can we learn that? Can we build that, por favor? Or is that a little bit too expensive for our tastes? A little bit of thatch, a little bit of wood. I was gonna say, build a little temporary home, drop off some of our goods. I wanna go say hello to the king crab. Maybe he's friendly after all, like, you never know. We got whatever the hell's on the other side of this. Talk about a messed up- oh. We got outer space out there. Talk about a messed up arc. I think having this guy here as our little, like, nightlight, it's gonna be a lot more handy than many of you can imagine. But okay. Was that another king crab? Looks like they're pretty common. You can see that thing putting in work from a- Oh my god, looks like a tarantula crab, man. Looks horrifying. It's like stamping down its leg- or it's like arms. The good news is it doesn't look too fast, so... That might be pretty high on the taming list. Oh, if you guys don't know, Ark, of course, has taming in the game. Maybe it's your first time watching the series, you know. Uh, so I'd love to tame up one of those and maybe even, you know, get ourselves a saddle for that bad boy. But for now... Do we find- are we level- no, so we got a couple levels to go. We might start going up in that a little bit. And, uh, stamina so we can run a little bit harder. That type of jazz. Maybe get some more bulldogs? Like, I don't know. Man, they're not gonna be- uh, Like, they're nice, they're adorable, but they're not fighters. And given how dangerous this place is, I'm thinking fighters might be a solid investment. Speaking of solid investments, do we have a hatchet yet? We should make that happen. We gotta get some thatch. A little bit low on the stuff. We just gotta find a mushroom, fungus, whatever the hell. And make our way doing with that. So we can stay in that beginning area because from what the map said, I'm thinking as we head on out, it really, the, the difficulty will ramp up. Like you guys are already seeing the king crabs and stuff and... Was this here before? Hello, explorer's note. Hey, the Rockwell Records. I ain't gonna read that, sorry man. If you guys want, pause the video, give that a read. Do some with it. You guys can see. Oh, 360. It's going to the montage. We got a level up from discovering this, though. And discovering these things does give us double XP for like 10 minutes or something. And oh no. Oh no. My, my blue pupper. He, he ran out of charge. Oh man. Hopefully, we can get a little bit more charge soon because uh, I feel I don't know, man. It sucks. If this, if the world's going to be this dark all the time, this might be a bit of a struggle, man. I don't know. Oh <gasps> no. No. No, no, go away, go away, go away. We might need to do like a leap of faith here somewhere. I don't think we're surviving any leaps of faith. Oh my god, there's a cup. there's raptors in between us and freedom every way. We might need to do that swan dive if we actually want to get the hell out of here. I don't think we're getting past this thing. And listen, early game raptors, some of the most annoying things in the world. Trust me. Can we get a spear? No, we need one more flint for that. Uh, wait, we got a rock. Hold on. We might not have the health for this, but at the very least, we could have the spears for it. Let's make it happen, boys and girls. Raptor of the aberrant variety, or whatever the hell you're actually called. I will not stand for your transgressions. Whatever the hell you're transgressing against. Oh my god, we got a lot of levels. Hold on. That, that explorer's note gave us a poop ton of levels. We're up to 16. I'll take it. So what's that level 10 thing that we learned? The glow stick! Crystals and green gems? Let's learn that bad boy. What was that noise? Was that my dude? I don't know. Are we- Oh my god! We seriously gotta go and find a source of water. Maybe I'm crazy- I was not seeing a source of water anywhere close to us, but... What I think- I think the reason that those crystals and green things drop so much is to give us the ability to have like a good amount of glow sticks early on in the game. So that way we can toss those bad boys and actually be able to see consistently. Yeah! So look at that! This way, frag out! Glow stick out! We can actually see the surrounding areas and stuff and... Okay, so it looks like the game literally gives you a method of making sure that you can see a little bit. Also a method of glow- like freaking raptors coming after us. Okay. 
Let's eat the rest of our berries. Keep on munching. I think I ate the wrong mushrooms there. Ah, uh, maybe some of these mushrooms give a lot of hydration. Who the hell knows? We're getting levels, though. That's what I know. Let's start going up in melee damage so these guys fear us a little bit. If anything, though, I feel like my spear is going to break on the first hit. Like, I'm not saying I'm going to go and fight them for sure. But if he starts trying to fight me, you know, can't back down from a challenge like that. Especially because I'm trying to get my way back to, like, harvesting wood. You know what? Oh, we got something else there. You know what we could do? No, actually, I don't think we could do that. I think I'm a madman for thinking we could do that. Do you guys think we could jump that? Ah, uh -huh. that might be stretching it a little bit. Okay, I think we can jump this, though. Oh, barely. Oh, the raptor's coming after us. What's up, buddy? No worries. You ain't getting to me. I outsmarted you. I outsmarted you, buddy. We can head back to safety, but so far out of the peak we've gotten out of our aberration, man. Looks like there's going to be some big things coming our way. And I kind of want to see, like, I wonder if these guys right here... Hey, buddy, you want to be mine too? Hey, another one. But yeah, make sure to leave a comment in the comment section down below. Letting me know what you want these guys to actually be named. And uh, make sure that like button on any names that you guys like in that way. I will shout out the persons or peoples who do get the names right, for example. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to put that out there because that's how we've always done ARC series. So if you guys have names for the Bulldogs, please let me know. As soon as next episode hits, I'll make sure to shout out the winning comments, which is going to be a combination of... Oh! No, 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 no! Get away, Raptor! Help me, Bulldogs! Yeah, I think the Bulldogs are dead too. Well, sounds about right. So uh, we got to try and... I think we might try and train here a little bit. So I think that area we were in, that's... Uh, well, if, no, we were like there. If we go up a little bit more north, that's the Fertile Lake. We're in the Upper Mushroom Forest and kind of by the Fertile River. And then there's the edges. And that's only like, it only looks like a fourth of the map. So I think there's still a bunch of other quadrants still to be explored. So tons of adventure, tons of excitement still to come. I hope you guys are excited for this series. I am, and as long as you guys want to keep seeing these videos, I'm going to be more than happy to keep on posting them, but I'm, I'm thinking that potentially training a little bit here, I might try and train a bit here in between episodes so we can be a little bit more powerful, maybe have a couple of basics with us, like some clothes. I really should have put on the clothes we had. I thought I put them on. I'm crazy, man. I don't know. Clothes, weapons, that type of jazz, but so that's going to wrap it with me for now. Thank you guys all for watching. It was a fantastic day, and I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.